driveway and make sure no one sees you. Is everything okay? Where's the... I fucked up. It... It just happened. Mia, what happened? I don't know what I was thinking. I just snapped. Hey. What's wrong? gonna tell you. When? When were you gonna tell me? Because I just checked our account and our savings is gone. Completely fucking empty. Where's our money? Listen, she's starting to leak this video. She's blackmailing me. There's a video? So not only did you cheat on me with your sugar baby underage student, you were stupid enough to record it? Or who counted? it? Who are you trying to entertain with this? Listen, Nia. It was a dark time in my life. I came clean to you. It's over. I never saw her again. Right. Suffer in class every day, right? I told you, if I ask for a transfer, I'll have to Explain like, to the principal that you're a filthy fuck who sleeps with his students? Because he's a little boy who's trying to make up for the dreams he never lived, right? Thank you. A nice cold one is going to solve our fucking problems. So you gave her everything. What if she still releases the tape? What if she comes back asking for more? Then what? I understand that you're upset. But we gotta stick together if we're going to make it out of this. There's no we. I want a divorce. And I want to have the weekend. Not alone to see what you become. And you wonder why I do these things. to do. That bastard put his hands on you for the last fucking time. Here, I'll meet you in the living room. between Houston and Morrison. We both fit a small. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Thanks. See you soon. All right. So I called E. 
He's gonna come help us. Are you sure? Yeah. When him and I were together, I didn't approve of the shit that he did for a living. But the funny thing is, is that now, whenever things get crazy, he's the one I call. And you trust him? If there's anyone I would ever trust for something like this, it's him. Two black hoodies, in case someone glances at us, the less detail the better. Of course, if you follow my instructions, none of the hard-headed stuff, we should get through this. Got it. Did he park in our driveway? Nope, I parked around the corner, I had to scope it out. Make sure the coast was clear first. Nia, that's your name, right? Yes. Ruth tells me you haven't eaten in a few hours. I need you to get a snack or something, because I need your full focus on this one. If we all stay sharp and we keep our heads on a swivel, I think we can get through this clean. This Calvin guy, I don't know what he did, but... He had it coming. Nor do I need any emotional details. I just need facts. Is there anybody expecting him somewhere in the next 24 hours? No. Um, he had a meeting, but he canceled. You sure? Yeah. I heard him on the phone before he left this morning. Okay. How about enemies? There's a woman who's blackmailing him. I can't believe I'm saying this. One of the students has a video of them doing God knows what. You know the student's name? Charlotte. Do you have any idea where Charlotte lives? Actually, I do. The way I caught him cheating the first time. I left my phone in the car. When I tracked it down, it led me straight to the house. The murder weapon, it's still in the house, I assume. Yeah. In the kitchen. Okay, let's get to work then. I'm gonna move my car around the side. Then I'm gonna need some bleach, some towels, and the murder weapon. In the meantime, I need you two to change. All right? If this works out, there's no way I could ever repay you. You don't owe me anything, Nia. And stop saying if it's gonna work out. It is gonna work. Remember that time when Calvin came to work? Acting a fool because you wouldn't answer your phone? Way back then, I knew that this was going in the wrong direction. Okay, just say it. What? I know you wanna say I told you so. Nia. Look. I really believed he was gonna change. I just want the best for you. I know I could be a little pushy, but it's because I saw my mom go through everything that you went through. At least she didn't murder your dad. Oh, I'm sure she wanted to. Come on, put this on. Two, 
we keep our mouths shut. I've already got a legal hooker at a brothel somewhere in Reno vouching for my time. God forbid something goes wrong. You two need to have an alibi. I got someone who can cover for us. She lives with her parents. What if they get blamed for this? You know they will. Negative. The dumb bitch has a mile of evidence proving her motive. Nia, he's got this. We just need to get it over with so we could get home and get it behind us. All right, but what if they say the parents are complicit somehow? This time you gotta ask yourself, Nia. It's either you or them. They raised this fast little piece of filth. It's been nothing but a home wrecking, blackmail nuisance in your life. And in the court of public opinion, she would be considered the reason for your husband's death. So. If you're trying to feel sorry for someone, look somewhere else, not here and not now. What? I don't know. It looks like someone just... You know, it's not the time for paranoia. Get your head screwed on right. If I say move, you move, and we're done. Okay, definitely. I'll have the file send over that morning. Okay, thanks. Bad news for you, Nia. Charlotte wasn't the only student that your husband was sleeping with. There were others, including me. For now, you can call me number two. See, when Charlotte first brought up the idea of blackmailing him, we were supposed to come together to shed light on his nasty, manipulative ways. But there's always that one person who wants it all for themselves. That's why I'm happy Charlotte's locked up. And her dad? Well, <laughs> you guys probably shouldn't have done that, but I'm actually happy that he's dead. What I'm not happy about is the money that Charlotte kept for herself and left the rest of us out of it. Now, you seem like a reasonable woman. I'll give you one month to send the requested amount, or I'll release the footage of you framing Charlotte for murder to every police station within a 20 mile radius. It was three of you. You guys left your house and went into a black sedan around midnight. You sat in the back seat, the man drove, and your woman friend sat in the passenger. You guys went to Charlotte's, things took a turn, and your male friend shot and killed her dad after you placed evidence in her backyard. I have it all on video. I have been following you guys since the day that Charlotte took money from your husband. I wanted to catch your husband in the act and show you, but <sighs> this is so much more fun. Don't believe me about the video. Try not sending that money and see what happens. 